welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Guys, in the next three days, we're going to spend uh, running the roads up north. We're going to actually, well, we're going to we're gonna camp it, and it's going to be about three days of nothing but thunderstorms. <laughs> so, you know, hey, it's, you know, what, what do you do? You got to get out sometimes, and uh, that's exactly an what we're going to do right here in Bubba's Garage. But we're going to run a couple of tests. We got the dual battery set up on the Jeep Wrangler. That is the dual battery kit by Genesis Off-Road. Yeah. We're going to run some tests and actually find out how that auxiliary battery does with the Alpacool running over about... 40 hours 40, 44 hours, hours straight with no uh no power running on the jeep just just the auxiliary battery right now i gotta pack up and get ready to go it's drizzly it's not really storming right now so i think we're gonna be okay but i'm gonna it, hey another thing it's gonna be freezing cold and us texas folks we're not really into that whole cold thing so we'll see how that pans out Just like that, we warped right here to Glen Rose. We're actually at the Dinosaur Valley State Park. I greatly apologize, I haven't been vlogging along the way, but it's just been raining. That's pretty much about it. It is really nice out right now. It's actually stunningly beautiful, and tomorrow it's gonna be raining again. So our hikes are gonna be a little interesting. I'll try to get some footage, but uh, man, take a look at some of these scenery right here. I don't know if you guys have met Danielle. She's actually an employee at Bubba's Garage TV. Welcome to the BGTV fam. Say hi to Danielle. Do me a favor. Leave me some comments down below and so everybody say hi, Danielle. Do hi, that. Danielle. Hi, Danielle. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm the coolest team member there is. Hi, of course. Mommy. Of course. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to day two right here in Glen Rose State Park or Glen Rose It's Dinosaur Valley State Park in Glen Rose, Texas. Hope you guys enjoyed that nice beautiful scenic views We're on day two. It's about 50 degrees. We're heading up to the scenic overlook I think it's number six on the map, right babe? Yes. We've been there before. It's a beautiful little area. We don't have a lot of time We only got about two hours and then well we got some storms rolling in. It's currently about, like I said, about 50 degrees. It's gonna drop in the upper 30s tonight and nothing but rain. But we're we're gonna we're gonna try to hit that hike. They're just they're either camera shy or they're just moving a little too slow. So I greatly apologize. We got Odie with us last trip. Odie didn't really cut it very well. Went about uh, probably about 10 miles, and then we had to carry him. Well, he went about eight. We had to carry him the last two. Worked out, but hopefully we won't have to carry them this time. Here in Glen Rose, there's some, you gotta kinda hike up a little bit. So, Bobby's kinda clumsy. If she falls, Odie's gonna catch her. Yeah, I don't know, let's go. Wait a little bit longer. Wait a little, we'll be coming around again. Cause you know we're stronger than we were when you and I began. I don't know what's harder. Holding on and letting go, I don't know if we ought to Know if we ought to know, I don't know hey. Hey. Wait a little bit longer Wait a little, we'll be coming around again Cause you know we're stronger Than we were when you and I began I don't know what's harder Holding on and letting go, I don't know if we ought to we 
we're heading up there and we're gonna hike this entire ridge line like I said we don't have a lot of time today so we probably won't get to do it all but we've been here to Dinosaur Valley in Glen Rose State or Dinosaur Valley State Park in Glen Rose Texas before so it's okay they have it and uh, well we're gonna take them to the singing spots Didn't quite make it to our scenic spot that we wanted to get to, but we did see a few scenic spots right here in Dinosaur Valley. It's starting to rain, so we're kind of working our way back out to the creek so we can cross over and get back to our campsite for the evening. What an adventure. If you guys have never been to Dinosaur Valley or if you live in the state of Texas or passing through, you definitely got to check out Dinosaur Valley here in Glen Rose, Glen Rose, Texas. Really nice place. Like I said, we've been here a couple of times. Uh, Danielle, uh, one of our employees and her husband and, and uh, daughter, this is the first time they've ever been here. So we tried to show them some of the best possible spots right here in Dinosaur Valley. Unfortunately, time constraints are not gonna allow us to hit that today. But uh, yeah, you guys definitely gotta check it out. It's really nice here. Good morning, welcome to day three, Dinosaur Valley. I think Bobby and Shelby are up moving around in the rig and that stuff's like jiggling. I think it's one of the downsides about building a galley on your rig is that if you have other people, then there's, this stuff is gonna fall everywhere. Alright guys, this wraps up our trip right out here to Dinosaur Valley in Glen Rose, Texas. It's not that bad. Like I said, we've been here a couple times. This is the first time Danielle has made the trip, her husband there in uh, Craven. Say hello. Hey guys, do me a favor. Please leave some comments down below. Say hi to Danielle and her family. And this is kind of like their first like camping winter trip, right? Yeah. I mean, pretty much. So um, we're going to be venturing out. We got about three, four hours to head down south. Uh, back to Central Texas. So guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. If you like this video, give us a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, and please you know subscribe. You <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.